Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemical Engineering Investment Channel. Today's video will be focused on the simulation of stream saturator using asmanhysis. Stream saturator basic purpose is to add the moisture, especially when we are dealing with certain applications where you need to introduce the water in the system or moisture in the system. For example, if you are dealing with the air separation system, then you need to know the quantity of moisture or the humidity values or different conditions like wet bulb temperature, dry bulb temperature. So obviously we need to know that how we can add it once we are doing the simulation. So let's do it and before doing it, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. Now first we will click on this new button to start our process. First, we will select the components, add the components, nitrogen, oxygen, then argon, and then water. Then we will select the fluid package, which is our pangrobensor for this calculations. And once these two are okay, we can go to the simulation environment. And in the search bar, model plate, we will search stream saturated and if you this is our stream saturated so drag it and open it and we will do the connections of feed water and product so labeling it as feed water stream as water and product stream as the product after defining the streams we have to define the value of the different values of feed and it has been told numerous times that out of temperature, pressure, and vapor fraction, we have to define any two. So let's assume that the temperature is 25 degrees centigrade and pressure is 101.325 kilopascal or 1.013 bar or 1 atm. Let's assume that the total flow rate is 1000 kg mole per hour. And if we double click on it, then this composition bar is opened. Composition basis is mole fraction. We will enter the small fractions. Nitrogen as 0.78, oxygen as 0.21, and argon as 0.01. And we will click on OK. And once we click it, it has been solved. Why? Because in design specification in parameters, the relative humidity of 100 is by default entered, and the reference conditions are 25 degrees centigrade and pressure of 101.3 kilopascal or 1.013 bar. Now you can see that the mole fraction of water is 0.0311. Mass fraction of water is 0 0.0196. Water content at reference conditions, at standard conditions, and normal conditions are given over here. The dew point of water is given, and the temperature is given. Obviously, you can see these two are not different because of 100% humidity. And partial pressure is 3.151 kilopascal. And the content units are mg per cubic meter wet. Let's change the relative humidity to 90%. And you can see our revised condition. Now you can see what a dew point and relative temperature are now different, which is obviously our basic concept. In the same way, for certain applications, let's say that the humidity is 50%. So accordingly, these values will start on changing, and accordingly, you will see that the flow rate will also start changing. Now, for this finalized stream, you can see this is the composition that nitrogen is 0.7677. Oxygen is 0 0.2067, argon is 0 0.0098, and water is 0 0.0158. So, this is the simplest way of doing it without any manual calculations. That if you know that what is the relative humidity of air, if you are supposed dealing with the air separation unit, then you have to simply go to S1 Hysis because this option is available in S1 Hysis. You have to simply put the initial feed, like we say normally, nomenclature at 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 1% argon. And then you have to use the stream saturated by defining just the relative humidity, and you will get your final stream data with the moisture added to it. So, this is the application of stream saturator, and it is an important tool once we are dealing with the moistures in the system or if there are water contents present in any system. So, I hope you have understood all the aspects of this video. If you have any query, feedback, suggestion, Please provide it in the comment box and I would be happy to answer it. And that's it from today's lecture. Thank you so much. Please do watch, like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel.